How's it going guys, it is Panjano here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a quick and easy guide on how to clear all cache on Windows 10. This video is going to be covering all types of common cache in which you need to clear out, from the operating system to networking, other programs in which you might be using as well, alongside your graphics driver cache, to boost system responsiveness, speed up the system, and just make everything a lot more efficient. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously. Alongside let me know your results in that comment section down below, as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. And any other tips and tricks you might have for clearing any cache or any other boost tips you you might have. Also leave those in the comment section down below. And if you guys do enjoy content like this, please do consider pressing the subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly whenever a video goes live on the channel. With all that said and out of the way, let's jump straight on into the guide. We're first of all going to be starting off with the Windows operating system itself. So for this, navigate down to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows key. And we can start off by typing in percent %temp% percent, just like so, then going ahead and pressing enter. This is the Windows temporary folder which all programs and apps on your PC dump all of their caching files with inside of here to simply soak up resources. With inside of here, it's recommended to highlight all the way from the top to the bottom, right click and select delete. Go ahead and press do this for all current items, then hit skip, then hit skip once again. The only files and folders remaining with inside of here were the only ones Windows was using and everything else was an excess caching file which no longer needed. We can then go ahead and exit out, navigate down to the bottom left hand side once again, click on the Windows key, this time typing in run, then pressing enter. Once the run command opens up, simply then type in temp just like so but without the percentage signs this time, then press ok. Press continue. With inside of here, once again, we can highlight and select every folder and file with inside of here, right click, and again, select delete. Select do this for all current items, then hit continue. We can then proceed to navigate over to the left hand side to this PC, then navigate down to your local disk C drive. With inside of the local disk C drive, we're then going to be looking for one or two folders. The folders we're going to be looking for are windows.old and windows 10 upgrade. You might have both of these folders, or you might just have one of them, or in some cases, you may not have either of these folders. If you do have either of these folders or both, if you're currently happy with your current operating system and upgrade, to the operating system so you don't wish to revert Windows back, you no longer need these files. So if you're happy with how Windows is right now, that's absolutely fine. We can go ahead and select both of these folders, right click, then select delete. If any prompts come up, just make sure that you go ahead and click do this for all current items and then hit continue. With inside of here again, we can then go inside of the Windows folder, scroll down until you find the S section. We're then going to be going inside of software distribution, then go inside of download. This is just all Windows upgrade files in which you no longer need as you're already running on the latest version of Windows. So we do not need any of this information anymore. So once again, highlight and drag all folders and files, right click and select delete. We can then go ahead and exit out, then navigating down to the bottom left hand side once again, clicking on the Windows button again, this time typing in run, pressing enter. With inside of here we're then going to be typing in prefetch, just like so, and then pressing ok. If you're notified that you do not have permissions to access this folder, just press continue. And this is just a compilation of cached files with inside of Windows from frequently used applications and searches. So again, go all the way from the top to the bottom, highlight every single thing with inside of here, right click, then select delete once again. If you're given a prompt saying this action cannot be completed, just hit do this for current items, then hit skip. Once that's then been completed, exit out. Assuming that we've now already cleared out a bulk of the cache with inside of our operating system, it's now recommended to completely flush that out and optimize our Windows drives. To do this, it's very simple and easy to do. Navigate to the bottom left hand side, type in disk, just like so, then click on disk cleanup. With inside of it, it will say select the drive you want to clean up, simply select your C drive, then press OK. The disk cleanup tool for Windows will then open up. For most of you watching, you can just keep the default checked options checked with inside of it, then press OK. But if you really want to clean out all cache, which I'd recommend you do, I'd go ahead and select all options with inside of it. Go down to your temporary files, make sure that all of them are selected. Then go down to clean up system files. Press OK once again over the C drive. And once again, go inside of here and simply check all of the options on the left hand side, make sure that they are all checked. And as you can see for me, I'm now going to be removing 2.7 gigabytes of caching files just simply by doing this step. So once they're all selected, go ahead and press OK then click on delete files. This can take a few moments depending on the system speed and the drive in which you're using, whether it's an SSD or hard drive. So simply just leave this for a few moments time and the program will then close out once it's completed. We can then go ahead and clean out all of the old system restore points we no longer need, which in some cases can be taking up more than five plus gigabytes on your Windows installation. And this is very easy and simple to do. For this, simply navigate to the bottom left-hand side, click on the Windows key, type in create a restore point, just like so, then click on create a restore point. With inside of this prompt, navigate down to your local disk C drive Drive, highlight the C drive, and if system protection is turned on, navigate down to the bottom right hand side to configure. With inside of here, you'll then be seeing the current disk usage from all of the old system restore points in which you're using. Assuming that I just cleared out this PC, I'm actually using zero bytes, but in some cases, this can be a few gigabytes, depending on how old your Windows install is. Make sure to let me know of your current usage in that comment section down below. Then to clear out all of those old system restore points in which you no longer need, simply navigate down to the bottom right hand side and click on delete. Then press continue then press close. With inside of here, what we're then going to go ahead and do is go to max usage, drag this slider to about 5%, then go down to the bottom right hand side, press apply, 
Press OK. We're then going to create a brand new system restore point as we just removed all of our old ones. So we need to create one now to ensure that you guys can go about using your PC and you'll have a system restore point if you need to use one. So go down to press create, then simply name the system restore point something you can remember. So we just call this restore 2020, then go ahead and press create. After a few short moments, the system restore point will be created. Then go ahead and press close, press OK, and we can continue on. We're then going to be clearing out our Windows File Explorer cache to make the File Explorer and File Search options much faster. We can do this by navigating into the desktop, going down to the File Explorer icon on the taskbar. We can start off here and navigate up to the view tab, click on view, then navigate over to the right hand side to options. Now whilst we're in here it's also recommended to come into the view tab at the top, then go down to the option which is hidden files and folders and check the option for show hidden files, folders and drives, then go down to the bottom right hand side to apply. We can then navigate back over to the general tab on the top left hand side, then navigate down to the bottom to the privacy tab, then go ahead over to the right hand side and click on clear. After a few seconds, go ahead to the bottom left hand side, press OK, we can then exit out. We can then clear out the cache and speed up the Windows Store. This also helps you if you're struggling with slow download speeds, or you're struggling to load items through the Windows Store. For this, it's very simple and easy to do. Simply exit out of the Windows Store before doing this. Navigate to the bottom left hand side, type in CMD, right click on CMD and make sure that you run this as an administrator, then select yes. With inside of here, we're simply then going to be typing in WSRESET, .exe, so that again is wsreset.exe, just like so, then press enter. The command prompt will then pause and act like it's not doing much whilst it's running the command. And after a few short moments, the Windows or Microsoft Store will then automatically open up. Once the store opens up, it's then good to go and all of the cache has then been reset. We can then go ahead and exit out of both the Windows Store and command prompt. We're then going to be clearing out our internet browser's cache and also helping speed them up. We're then going to be completing that step by flushing our network to ensure that we can get the best internet speed and the fastest searches and minimize any slowdowns on your PC. So to start off with any Google Chrome users, navigate to the top right hand side of your browser, click on the three dots, then go down to settings. With inside of here, simply scroll down until you find the privacy and security tab. We're then going to be starting off by going over to clear browsing data. Click on this tab. We can then go ahead and select the time range. I'd recommend doing this for all time. We can then select the data it's going to be deleting. For most people, unless you're looking to keep hold of any of this data, I would recommend getting rid of most of it. But do bear in mind, deleting your cookies and other site data can sign you out of older sites. So if you're not entirely sure what all of your passwords are and you want to remain signed in on those sites, uncheck this option. And if you are completely fine with that and you want the fastest browsing experience possible and to clear out all of your cache, recheck this, select all time. We can also navigate over to the advanced Advanced tab on the top right hand side, once again select this to all time. We can also delete our passwords and other sign in data, autofill information, site settings and other hosted apps. Again if you want the fastest browsing experience possible and you don't want to keep any of your current data, go ahead and select all of these options in basic and advanced, deselect any options you wish to remain, then click on clear data. After a few moments time that will then be completed, we can then exit out of the browser. For those of you running on Microsoft Edge, once again navigate to the top right hand side, click on the three dots, then navigate down to the bottom to the settings tab. With inside of here, navigate over to the left hand side to the privacy search and services tab. With inside of here, it might be worthwhile going to the tracking prevention setting and adjusting this if you wish to do so. Otherwise, we can navigate down to clear browsing data, then navigate down to choose what to clear. With inside of here, go to the drop down menu, I'd recommend selecting this to all time, and again, select all of the options in which you wish to clear out with inside of here. The more of these you tick the faster your browser is going to become but do bear in mind if you do remove your passwords and autofill data this can make it more difficult to re-sign into any accounts in which you might have forgotten the user data too but if you're not bothered by that that's absolutely fine check those options as well then click clear now and last but not least, for those of you running on Firefox, navigate to the top right hand side once again, click on the three lines. With inside of here, navigate down to the options menu, then navigate over to privacy and security. But what we're looking for is to scroll down even further, going to the cookies and site data tab, going down to clear data. Once again, select all the options with inside of here in which you wish to clear, then click on clear, clear now. Scroll down once again to the history tab, and once again, select clear history. With inside of here, go to the time range to clear, then select this for everything. And once again, go inside of here, select the options in which you wish to completely clear out. We can then go down to the bottom right hand side and once again, press OK. After a few moments time, that will then be completely cleared out. We can then exit out of all of our browsers. Piggybacking off of that, we can then go ahead and apply a quick network flush to flush out our DNS cache. To ensure the next time we open up our internet browser with all of the cache removed, we can then completely start fresh with a much more snappier and faster browser. For this, navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows button, type in CMD once again, navigate up to the command prompt, right click on command prompt and open this as an administrator. Then go ahead and press yes. With inside of it, we're then going to be typing in ipconfig space slash flush DNS, just like so. 
Simply type in that command. Once the command has been typed in, then go ahead and press enter. After a few short moments, the Windows IP configuration will then complete this task. You'll then notify that the DNS cache has successfully been flushed. We can then go ahead and exit out of the command prompt. For those of you running on Windows 10, it's also recommended to navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows key once again, this time typing in location. Go inside of your location privacy settings. With inside of this tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find location history. Go to the clear location history on this device tab, click on clear. Once that's then been set, we can then go ahead and exit out. And for those of you running Spotify on your PC, it's also recommended to clear out your Spotify cache. For this, it's very simple and easy to do. Navigate to the bottom left-hand side, type in percent, app data percent, just like so, then press enter. With inside of this tab, navigate up to the top to the navigation bar. Click on the navigation bar where it says app data, then go into the local folder. Scroll down to the S section with inside of it, and we're going to be looking for the Spotify folder. And once again, with inside of the Spotify folder, go inside of the data folder. With inside of here, we're then going to be selecting all folders and folders with inside of here, right click, then select delete. If deleting these files gets stuck at 99% for any reason, just simply press exit out on the delete command. We should then be left with an empty data folder with inside of Spotify. Removing the data from this folder alone has actually cleared out 10 gigabytes on my C drive as well. And this now leads us on to some of the most important caching files in which you can remove with inside of this entire video for the best games. Especially those of you that use graphics heavy workloads and play games, you should be seeing some phenomenal results from doing this. We're going to be applying this for NVIDIA users and also AMD Radeon users, and to see which steps you need to follow along with, simply right click on your desktop, you'll either be seeing the NVIDIA control panel or the AMD Radeon settings panel. If you do not see either of these control panels, that's absolutely fine, you can simply skip out of this step, or if you already know which graphics card you have installed, either follow the NVIDIA steps or the AMD Radeon steps. So for NVIDIA users, we're going to be navigating to the bottom left hand side, clicking on the start button, typing in percent app data percent, then pressing enter. With inside of here, we're then going to be going over to the app data tab, Go inside of our local folder. Scroll all the way down to the end section. We're then going to be going and finding the NVIDIA Corporation folder. We're then going to be going inside of NV underscore cache. With inside of here, select all files and folders. Right click, select delete. Once that's then been cleared out, we're then going to go back a couple of folders. So we're going to be going back inside of our local folder. To do this, navigate up to the navigation bar at the top. Click where it says local. Scroll down once again. We're then going to be going inside of the NVIDIA folder. With inside of the NVIDIA folder, go inside of GL cache. And once again, select all files and folders with inside of here, right click and then select delete. Once those files have been deleted as well, navigate back up to the navigation bar, click on local once again, this time navigating down to the T section, then go inside of temp or TEMP, and it's recommended once again with inside of here to highlight all files and folders with inside of here, right click, then select delete. Click do this for all current items, then hit skip. And if you do not have any more files and folders with inside of here since we cleaned this out earlier on, you can simply skip this step as well. We can then delete our final caching files for NVIDIA by navigating over to the left hand side, clicking on local disk C drive. With inside of here, we're then going to be looking for the program data folder. The folder icon should be slightly more transparent compared to the other ones, as this is actually a hidden folder. And if you cannot see this folder inside of your local disk C drive, navigate up to the top, click on view, once again, go over to options on the right hand side, go to view once again, and ensure that show hidden files, folders and drives has been checked, press apply, press OK. Once you guys are done with inside of there, go inside of the program data folder, then scroll down to the end section, go inside of NVIDIA Corporation, and once again, go inside of the MV underscore cache folder with inside of here, and once again, click on all files and folders with inside of here, highlight, drag, right click, then select delete. If you're met with this prompt, once again, click do this for all current items, then hit skip. We can then go ahead and exit out. We've then successfully cleared all of our NVIDIA cache for our NVIDIA GPU drivers. And that then leads us on to removing all of the cache for AMD Radeon drivers. For this, simply right click on your desktop and open up inside of the AMD Radeon software. And for AMD Radeon users, this is much simpler to do. Simply navigate over to the home tab, then navigate over to the right hand side to the settings cog. Once you've clicked on the settings cog, navigate over to the graphics tab. With inside of the graphics menu, scroll all the way down, click on the advanced section down here at the bottom, scroll all the way down once again, find the option for reset shader cache, click on perform reset, press OK, and after a few short moments, your AMD GPU's shader cache will then be completely reset, we're then good to go. And there you guys have it. That is the ultimate guide to clearing out your Windows 10 cache, to help speed up your system in terms of responsiveness, make it a lot more snappier, help speed up Windows search, all of your internet browsers, and make your networking a lot more efficient and faster as well. What I'd recommend doing now is simply Simply opening up into your browser, going to all of the sites in which you typically use, so you can store new caching data for those sites. And for those of you out there that cleared your graphics driver cache as well, start booting up into the games in which you commonly play as well.
well to build brand new fresh caching data for those games to get everything up and running as smooth as possible. If you guys did enjoy this video and are happy with the results, please leave a like on the videos, it helps me out tremendously. Alongside leaving your results and feedback in that comment section down below, alongside any suggestions for content you'd like to see come to the channel, as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. And if you guys do enjoy this sort of content, please do consider pressing that subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly of whenever a video goes live on the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Benjano, and I'll see you guys in the next one.